Hey guys, it's Iggy again. From viewer request, I'm doing a video on the justice system. Basically, here's the rundown. I was a bad, bad man. I acquired 54 crime points. The limit is 50. If you exceed that limit, the next PvP death, you will go to jail. Okay, I'm the buff right now. Basically, you get a buff that says wanted. And anyone who kills me in PvP combat will send me to jail. So I'm in jail. Now, the infamy points you see here are, are for pirating. If, if you get more than 3,000, you're going to become a pirate. And your own faction will kill you, and it's not very cool. So I'm currently at 1,300. Now, I have the option. Why are we going to first? So I, I died. Of, I asked someone to kill me. I was wanted, and my friend killed me. And so he put me to jail. My friend attacked me, and just for attacking another player, drops a small blood stain. That's worth one infamy, one crime points. If you murder someone, 10 infamy, 10 crime points. The large ones you put in a message like, hey, this dude's a dick. Or, you know, uh, oh, it was Obama's fault, or whatever the hell you want to say. Obama! So, that's the gist of it. Uh, if you if you uproot something, you steal something from someone else, I mean, they planted a tree outside there in the farm area, you get crime points if they report it. You gotta get three per. So, yeah, that's, that's, the, that's the gist. But just so now I'm in jail. I got reported down to Solus. And I have an option. Do I want a trial? Or do I plead guilty for 20 minutes? Now, the last time I was in jail, I my, I had the plea of 40s, 46. 46 was my plea. I chose trial. I ended up getting 96 minutes in jail, live on stream. It was not fun. Not fun at all. 96 minutes in jail on stream. You cannot do a lot when you're in jail. Or even if you escape jail, there's nothing you can do. You can't use a sub, you can't use your mount, you can't open chests, you can't farm mobs, you can't defend yourself, you can't go to your farm, you can't TP. All you can really do is use the auction house. And... Hmm. Use the auction house and... Use your boat, really. You can use scrolls. That's about it. So. I'm gonna choose request trial. Because, you know, I'm going to show you guys how the trial works. I'm now ported to the judge. It's an NPC. That's the judge. This is going to be trial chat in here. People like to troll it a lot. F pregnant guys. The, oh, the wizard did it. And so now I'm going to TP in a jury of my peers. People who have completed a quest. I'll show you, I'll show you guys where to do that later. And, it, yeah. So, just waiting on my jury. If you get, you know... Some friends, some guildies, it's not too bad, you know. They'll probably blow you innocent if you ask them to, or guilty if you ask them to. Farming infamy is really easy if you want to be a pirate, it's not that hard at all. You could have a friend plant potatoes and you just up uproot the potatoes if you really wanted to. Or you could just gank your friends in a PvP zone over and over and over. That's okay too. So, we're just waiting on the jury. Uh, so... I'll speak about the jury here. So there's a quest. There's a quest right about here in Ostera. So it's right about her. And right there is where you get the quest. Uh, she'll have you run some errands. I believe the breadcrumb quest starts in the courthouse. It sends you out to her. And you do some quests. You find some pirates. And you solve the murder of a witness. And you are allowed to become a, a juror. And after five jurors, you get a cloak. The cloak gives you these two buffs. Allows you to arrest botters in PvP zones and f f or arrest them in, in friendly zones and kill them in PvP in contested zones. You can flag them so you don't gain infamy. The cloak also gives you really good stats, so it's not a bad item. The minimum level for that is level 40, by the way. So, this is my charge list. Murder! That's what he wrote. Murder! Murder, murder. Assault, assault, murder, murder. Assault, murder. So this is my record here. I got 54 crime points. Two reports is 537. I spent 380 minutes in jail. That's a long time. That's the time I can't play the game. It's a long time.
they're asking if I killed bots. Hopefully they convict me. I want a conviction. I'm basically gonna, just going to say I'm really, really mean. So this I'm in a jail. Feel free to send that useless Igni scrub to jail. Killing a level 20 on his first banana run. See, people who have, I've killed are now talking in chat saying what a bad person I am. And the jury, my peers here, will decide what my sentence is. We're currently in the examine phase. They look at my list to decide what my verdict is. Odor! Nope. I'm going to... I, I, I want to make them wait. It's my closing argument. It's my final plead. But yeah, it's, it's pretty simple. It shows who I who, who reported me, who the victim was, what happened in the memo, and the charge. All shows the time. It's kind of interesting. And yeah, there's a, there's a 100 crime limit. If you're a really, really bad person, there's always a limit. So yeah, this is pretty much how it goes, and let's hope they convict me. Other players can sit in the chairs here and watch. They can pick up stones and throw them at me. This is a public trial. Anyone can be here. These people are ported in here, and they're ported out back to where they were. If you are a juror, you get, when you log in, you get put in a queue automatically as long as you've completed the quest. The quest minimum level is 40 if you want to become a juror. So now they will judge me. The verdict. These are the possible accounts. Larceny, which is stealing, assault, murder, other, which I don't know what that is. So there's one juror who's probably AFK right now. So we're waiting for the AFK juror. They're going to have a list where it shows not guilty and like four four different times varying on severity. With the largest being probably quite large. And yeah, that's pretty much it. There's no unanimous verdict. It's just a mix. Maybe there's two innocent and three guilty, I'm gonna be guilty. Imposter Hodor. I'm guilty of all charges and sentenced for to 24 minutes in jail. So not that bad. I mean, my crime points were kind of low. The other day I had 190. How did I get 190? I got 190 for doing this. Look at that. Look at that. L-O-L. -L. Like I planted about 30 gold worth of trees, and I uprooted almost all of them, except for those, to spell LOL. It was totally worth it. I would now be TP'd to jail. Yay, I'm in jail, they convicted me. Thank you so much. Good show for convicting me. Oh, cool carnage there. I'm now in jail. Look for the room with the boxes. The boxes will contain clothes, shoes, shoes. Shoes. I don't want shoes anymore. Oh, I'm full up. So let's destroy that. So to get hood, you get hood, clothes, pants, you know that kind of stuff. So we're gonna head up out of the out of the cellar there. And this is the basic area of the prison. You can't do anything. There's really, literally nothing to do. You can smash boxes and try to get clothes. The clothes you can get as many times as you want. So don't bother keeping these after the trial after the prison sentence. These labor, these little piles here, you use one labor and you can uproot them. You know, kind of like, you know, hard manual labor. Why you want to do that though? Why waste your labor? You have a chance to get a key. You can escape with that key. Oh no! Oh, I have full inventory. That's not a good thing. There's a small chance to get a full Harani body pillow from here, which is hilarious. I have one in my house. If you haven't seen it, check out my housing video. My body pillow. Oh. So yeah, you can just use this, use this, use this. Eventually you'll get a key, which I'm not going to use. I'm going to show you guys the cheating way to get out. So you get a key. Let's pretend I got a key there. I'm going to open this. The door will open. There's about five or six boxes in there and a pole. Loot the box and get out. The door will close on you after like 10 seconds. You can use the pole to get to the top. It's kind of a waste of time. So you got your, got your you got the item from inside here. You walk up the door. You're gonna walk up here to the very top. Use said item and glider off. 
It's really just that easy. The chance to get the key seems kind of low. It's probably around a 1% chance. I've gotten it first try. I've gotten it after, you know, 20 minutes. It just, it's, it's a crap shoot. Get okay, this height, you can go through here. There's no gate over there. Anywhere around here, you can zip off. You're probably not gonna make it over here. You might, you might make it to there. I'm not sure. But yeah, that, that's how you get out the legit way. Let's see if I can get one more. Come on, key. Big money, big money, big money. No. If you need want to get out the illegal way, equip soccer shoes. Remember to escape with the soccer ball. That's a current bug in the game you can use. Maybe it'll be fixed, maybe it won't. So this is the soccer arena. I'm interested to play this with, uh, with more people. It's, you know, it's currently the score is 10-0. Let's make it... Let's make it 10-10. Oh, it's FIFA! I'm working all over again. Damn you, FIFA! Damn you, FIFA! It's 29-20 dead. So, we're gonna use the soccer ball to escape the jail. Kick the ball to said gate. Fight! Alright, we have to press F to unlock the soccer ball. So we're gonna get the ball over here. We're gonna get it in, in this left corner. It must be in the left corner. Basically, we're gonna kick the ball, standing here, and immediately jump on the ball. We will clip through the wall. It's really simple. I'm, I'm spamming my, my forward mouse key. I'm gonna press R and then jump. R, jump. I'm now inside the wall. See this? I'm inside the wall. You can now walk around this gate and walk out of the jail. You walk right through there out of the jail. Or you can go through the floor, which I like doing. Whee! You just kind of walk in circles, you'll fall through the ground. Oh no, Iggy! You're in the water! That's okay. You can get through the wall here. I'll cook my food first a little faster. It's pretty simple. Get to the wall, mash space bar. It's really all it takes to go through a wall in this game. They make it pretty easy. There's a lot of bugs, so you know, if you get stuck in a wall, it's pretty easy to get out. As you can see, there's a wall here. I'm stuck. So, mash space bar. Mash space bar. Come on, come on, come on, come on. I'll try a different area. Go to this side. Uh, can take a little while sometimes. I've always gotten out though. And we're out. So yeah, just find, keep trying different spots to eventually bug out of the wall. And we're outside the jail. See ya, sluggers! You can no longer mount. You can only use your boat. I, I have this debuff here. Prison after committing a crime. Restrictions from certain combat activities and various actions. Well, pretty much all you can do is use the auction house, check your mail, and use a boat. That's literally all you can do. So, you know, if you get a seven hour sentence, like my friends get in Korea, you're gonna have a bad day. Because you can you must be logged in to serve your sentence. You cannot be logged out. I'm gonna show you guys how to reduce your infamy and crime points if you do not want to go to jail. It's important to note that if you have a high enough crime rate, or crime points and MP points, you cannot serve as a juror. I'm no longer able to serve. I think you need less than 200. To do the quest to become a juror, you must be level 40, as I said, and you'd have a very low infamy, below 50, I believe, infamy. So, if your goal is to become a juror, you better make sure you do that quest very early at once, once you hit 40, and make sure you do those dailies. The cloak you get is pretty good. As I mentioned, he has seven, seven doll stats. Early game, that's pretty good. Mine, my cloak right now is better, but you know, that's an end game cloak. What do you expect? So we're gonna head to the dock over here. I can't swim very fast, so I just might put my slow clipper. There are three quests on each side to reduce your infamy. I'm familiar with the east side. The west side has mirror quests, probably. I mean, most definitely. The game's pretty fair in that respect. So, if you want to reduce your infamy, the first one is in Rookborn. 
and what do you get the quest at water mist it's pretty self-explanatory you talk to some dudes around here there's like three or four dudes and you pay them your respects and then bam done 30 infamy 30 crime points gone i believe and for solace there's npcs over here which i'll run to they give you two quests total. One is to carry boxes to another location inside of the city. It's pretty simple. It's just, you need to trade pack run pretty much. Very short. The other is to go outside the city to the city site and shovel, basically shovel dirt. That's it. It's these two NPCs right here. These are the boxes you transport. You transport them up into this little door up here. You go, whoop, you go up here, in here, to here. This is where you put the boxes, right there. So right, right here is where you get your cloak quest, after the courthouse breadcrumb. Here is where you take your boxes for this quest here. So that's the basic gist of the justice system. Remember that if you hit 3,000, you will become a pirate, so be careful on that. And that is the basic rundown of the justice system. Guys, don't be like me. Don't slaughter innocent lobbies. I suggest, strongly suggest you do this quest every single day. You want to keep your infamy down. You don't want to become a pirate. You don't want to go to jail too often and get huge ass crime points. And, you know, get long, long times in jail. With 197, I went to jail for 96 minutes. I have highlighted that on Twitch. So yeah, it's, uh, it's a long time. It's a long time. And like I said, you have to be logged in. So, hope you guys enjoyed the tutorial. I tried to make it as informative as possible. If you liked it, you didn't like it, let me know. Use that like button. Subscribe to the channel if you want to see more. Hit me up on twitch.tv slash ignitar. And make sure you let me know what tutorials you want to see next. If you don't ask, I won't do them. So ask. Thank you very much. Have a great day. See you guys on the next video. Peace. Order.